There comes a time in every boy's life where you want to play your Nintendo 3DS games from your actual Nintendo 3DS on a newer device like the Odin 2, for example. Why, you might add? Well, mostly just better resolution, better performance, and it looks really good on this device. Well, also better handling. Now, one big thing, you don't want to restart on your Odin 2. You want to continue at World 2 where you left off. Well, that's why I'm here today to tell you and show you how you can do this with your hack 3DS. So let's level up our hacking knowledge and emulation knowledge even more in 2024. <laughs> That's right, mobile gamers. Today, I am going to show you the magic of your 3DS console being the original 3DS. Yes, I love playing on my original 3DS from time to time, but I also love playing on my Odin 2 even more just because the colors pop, the graphics look great, and it doesn't look so pixelated and worn out and washed out, as you can see. The difference is kind of with the coloration of this screen and that screen. Even look at this one. Look at how different the colors are. They just pop. Now, that's not why we're really here is to compare, but that is why sometimes people want to play emulation is because they want to just basically continue where they left off on their 3DS console on their emulated device, which in my case right now is the Odin 2. As you can see, I have no game save here, but I do have my game save for World 2 right here. Now you do need to have a hack 3DS for this and you're gonna go home and you're going to click close. You're gonna press okay. And you need a program called Checkpoint. Checkpoint is right here. I'll put a link in the description below if you don't have Checkpoint installed already, but you should if you hacked your 3DS properly. This program is very, very helpful for a lot of games to back them up and restore them. Also just on any other 3DS, for example, so that you can continue where you left off. Now, I've done a video about this before, and I'm not going down that path again. I'm just kind of showing you what you can do with this so that we can actually take this file and put it on Lime 3DS, for example, which is really awesome because I have a lot of game saves here that I want to transfer over, and you can do that in the reverse order as well. So if you wanted to transfer this game save back to your 3DS in the future, you could. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate to the game of choice. I'm going to be using Super Mario 3D Land. You're going to click on A to go to new, and you're going to click on L to back up the save. Click yes, and I'm going to name this subscribe because you're going to subscribe to the channel because I put a lot of work and effort into this kind of stuff, not only for you, but also for my sake, because sometimes I forget how to do this kind of stuff. And that is why I do these kind of tutorials sometimes. So subscribe 3D or 3D land is what I'm going to name this one. And then we're going to press OK, press OK again. Now, the next thing you could do, so I'm going to give you two options. Now, option A is the easiest method because we can take the SD card out and plug it into our computer, transfer the save onto our computer, and then transfer it onto our Odin 2, for example. Option B is going to be using FTP. Now, if you know how to use FTP, which is utilizing the Wi-Fi server for small files only, I don't recommend transferring two to three gigabytes worth of games over FTP, that takes forever, then that's what you could use as well, but I'm not gonna cover this using FTP today, I'm only gonna cover it by taking your SD card out, plugging it into your computer or your Odin 2, for example, which we can do, we can actually just plug this right into our Odin 2, and then we can transfer the file right from the SD card, if you have a dongle, that is. So I do have a dongle, I have this little dongle right here. I'm going to put a link in the description below. You should go buy one. These are actually very, very useful and very helpful to have because this micro SD card adapter to USB-C adapter is really good for transferring files to a lot of your Android gaming handhelds. And that is what I'm going to be using today because I have this available. It's easier than having to transfer to the computer than transfer from the computer to my Odin. Whereas I can just take this out of my actual 3DS console and yes, I have a cool modification that I did a video about that I put my micro SD card in the front of my new 3DS XL. You want to go watch that? The link is in the description below so you can go watch how I did that. It's very, very useful and this is why it's very useful because I can just do stuff like this. And now that we have our SD card plugged into our little adapter here, we are going to plug it in to our Odin 2 or whatever device you're plugging it into. For example, if it's a phone, then great. Or if you have a Retroid Pocket 4 Pro, then plug it into that because it does read this little adapter. Now, the next thing you need to do is make sure that you're closed out of everything, including Lime 3DS. Lime 3DS needs to be closed for this to actually work properly. 
and I think it might be just a bug with Lime 3DS not refreshing properly. So just make sure it's closed down. It's not open in the background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to a website. We're going to navigate to a website that's actually going to tell us what our 3DS ID game is or for the ID itself for the game. So each game has its own title ID. And this website that I'm going to show you here is going to be in the link in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm telling you everything you don't know. So this website is called 3dsdb.com. You're going to navigate to this website. You're going to go to the search bar on the top right hand side and type in Super Mario 3D Land, if that's the game that you're doing. And you're going to just search out whatever region your game is. So my game is a North American region. So we're going to see the American flag for that one. And I'm going to go over here and look at the title ID for that. It's 54000. So if you have a Japanese version, then obviously yours is going to be 54100, but mine is 54000. Now, take note of that. That's for Super Mario 3D Land. I'm going to do Animal Crossing as well. And because Animal Crossing has a few data files that you have to actually copy. So Animal Crossing, New Leaf, Welcome Amiibo. I think that's the one that is American. And that one ends in 86300. So take note of that. 86300 is for Animal Crossing. So we're going to first work on Super Mario 3D Land. Go to the three lines on your file manager. Go all the way down to wherever your 3DS SD card is. You're going to navigate to a folder called 3DS. Checkpoint. Saves. Look for Super Mario 3D Land. Look for the subscribe 3D Land folder that we made. And you're going to just grab the file that is in here. So grab that gamedata.bin file. There might be different files for different games. Again, like I said, uh, certain games like Super Mario Kart. We have... All of these files in here for Super Mario Kart, so you have to copy those. For Ocarina of Time, we just have the system.dat file. For Zelda, I'm not going to do that one. Super Mario Bros, we have new Super Mario Bros. There's this one, Big Red Dot Save. This is another one, I just named it something different. So that is the Big Red Dot Save file. Again, like I said, this is all just dependent on what you named your actual folder. So Animal Crossing New Leaf, I have two different ones. So May 20th, and then I have another one for May 20th earlier on in the day. You're going to have to grab all of these files right here and paste them over to the game ID properly. So let's start off with Super Mario 3D Land. We're going to go down to subscribe 3D Land, grab that game data.bin and click copy to. Now you're going to look for that folder that you created or basically created for your Lime 3DS or Citra 3DS. Mine I named Lime 3DS, it's on my SD card so that if I transfer my SD card to a better device in the future, then I always have that game saved. I'm gonna navigate in there and you're gonna look for a folder called SDMC, Nintendo 3DS. And then this is your actual console ID. So if you changed your console ID other than 00000, which is the default, then the, this is basically your console ID. You gotta just keep navigating into that folder until you see title. Go to title. Go to 0004000, and then you're going to look for your game title ID. It's not going to be that whole string of numbers. It's going to be just the end part of the numbers. So 00054000, which is right at the top. You're going to go to data. You're going to go into 00001, and you're going to paste that file in here. So click copy. Now, if you have a file in there already, you should delete it. So I'm going to go back in there, for example. And I'm going to go to SDMC, Nintendo 3DS, go back into these folders. And what I'm doing right now is just going back in here to make sure that it didn't duplicate that file, which it did. So I'm going to delete this one. Click OK. And I'm going to rename this GameData.bin because it has to be the exact same name as it's shown. So GameData.bin, just like so. Now, if you have any files in there at the beginning of doing all of this, just delete them all and then paste the actual game save over to that directory. So go back out, go back into Lime 3DS, and open up Super Mario 3D Land for the very first time. And there we go, press A to start, and there is our world that we have backed up from our 3DS all the way onto our emulation device of whatever device you're using. So now I can continue where I left off in higher graphics, better rendering, nice screen, Nice buttons, nice joysticks, nice triggers, everything. If you don't have an Odin 2, I'll put a link in the description below for you to go buy an Odin 2. Now for the bonus, I'm going to show you how to do this for Animal Crossing as well. So the Animal Crossing icon was 863000. 
So let's go do this again. Close game, click OK. Now, Animal Crossing, we're going to go into our file manager, go to the three dots or three lines, Lime 3DS, SDMC, Nintendo 3DS, 000000, not external data, title, and we're going to look for that 86300 data and 0001. So now we have to delete all of these files in here. That's what we're going to do. Delete them all. Click OK. And then we're going to go into our pinky 3DS. I already have this backed up. 3DS, checkpoint, saves, and Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm going to go to the May 20th one. There's two different ones here. So actually, we need to grab this one. This one's the one with the latest update. So that's one big thing to note as well. So I have updated my Animal Crossing New Leaf. This is the latest updated version of that. So I'm going to copy all of these files. And I'm going to show you that when we go back into Lime 3DS, for example. We're going to go to Lime 3DS. Now make sure that Lime 3DS is actually closed. Go to SD. DMC, Nintendo 3DS, 000000, title 040863, data 0001, and copy it over. Now, I'm going to close all this out, go back into line 3DS. I'm going to go to Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm going to plug this in to my 3DS and turn on my 3DS so you guys can see the game save that I just copied over is the exact same as my 3DS console. And I'm going to go to Animal Crossing on this one. Welcome. And there's my continuation. And I'm going to do the same thing. Yep, that's my name, Jordo. My name is Jordan. You guys didn't know that. And here's the continuation. Continue, Jordo. And let's see where we are. Good evening, Mayor Jordo. Good evening, Mayor Jordo. It is Sunday, October 27th. Okay, this is just basically basing it off of my actual uh, date on my devices. And we're going to go back into Po Town. Po Town is what I named it. I don't know why. Po Town sounded good. <laughs> there I am. Coming out of my tent. Same thing. There I am. Sunday, it's a different day though. I don't know why. I think it's based off of the actual day on my device. But there it is. There's that game save backed up. So that's how you back up your game saves from your physical 3DS console to your emulation device of whatever you decide to choose. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Love you all. Bye bye.